Hey, right off the top, I want to say um, my deepest condolences and how my heart goes out to the families of those involved in the uh, Buffalo mass supermarket shooting, those uh, involved, those families involved in the uh, this recent Texas mass shooting of those children up in the elementary school. Um, I give my deepest condolences. Um, where do we start? First off, I like to say that I'm a gun lover and a gun owner. And um, about I want to talk about the ban or the tightening of tightening of background checks on firearms such as AR-15s and AK-47s, as you see above, uh, rifles and machine gun machine gun style uh, weapons. Um, I'm for I'm I'm pro Second Amendment. I'm not for the banning of guns, but I am for tightening of the security measures because guys, we have to do something here. We gotta be honest with ourselves. Um, the people who walking up and shooting a bunch of, that's going to these schools and going on these mass shootings, um, that's killing people, uh, they're the people who are actually the cornballs. So for that, we, we gotta tighten up the cornball law. They're the people who actually purchase their guns legally. These suburban raised kids, some of them, a lot of them, spoiled children uh something wrong with them mentally they go and as soon as they turn 18 as soon as they're old enough they go to the only place they know where to buy guns right over the counter at the gun store you know what i mean and um they purchase their first gun show their id and uh they walk out and then they commit their mass shooting these guys would not know where to find a gun these particular groups of people these weirdos they would not know where to get a gun off the street. They're cornballs. They're nerds. Okay, they don't know the underwork, the underworld. They don't. They wouldn't know where to get a gun illegally. Okay, the people who make doing these mass shootings, not you do the research nine times out of ten, they're people who went and bought like the rifles legally and then did what they had to do. Ghost guns is a whole nother problem in, in our community. Speaking of the black community, the ghost guns, um, the black on black crime, you know, killing each other. Those are things that have some reason to them. Though the reason makes no sense, the reason isn't violent, but they have a reason. Um, they keep people in the street, they shooting each other over rap lyrics, and they shooting each other over, you kill my homie, I'll kill your homie. They shooting each other over the court, the block and stuff like that, money, and you know what I mean? But these uh, weirdos, they are not using ghost guns. They're not getting their guns off the street. They're literally going with their ID and when they're old enough, they're going and purchasing a weapon, purchasing a, couple, a whole bunch of rounds and then they're going and killing innocent people with it, okay? Let's just be honest here. So I think we do have to come up with a law for the cornball, cornball law, where we gotta tighten up the measures on people who able, people who are irresponsible with mental problems. We gotta, we, gotta, we gotta look things over. I don't care, I don't know what the answer is. But people getting a hold of weapons like AK-47 that can hold up to a 50, 100 yard, 100 round drum, 30 round magazines, 40 round magazines. Um, there has to be a tightening in the security measure. Um, I don't have all the answers, but I do agree that we have to tighten it up, guys. Innocent kids, imagine somebody pointing one of these guns at your child. Um, my son's in the box and I don't even like to see my son get hit. Imagine seeing somebody pointing a deadly rifle at your child or pistol or any firearm for that measure. Um, if we legal owners, we shouldn't have a problem with security measures being tightened because we'll pass those, those backgrounds being tightened. We're going to pass it regardless. You know what I mean? And like I said, this is not for the people in the street that's shooting each other. Over. It's not the young boys that shoot each other over rap lyrics. They don't, we don't, they don't do that. They don't go walking up in markets and shooting everybody. They usually have a reason. If they walking up in the market, they come in for one or two, their intended target. They don't just just go cuckoo in that sense of the word, in that nature, where they just say, I just hate the world. I hate living. I hate the fact that I got to do chores, man. I hate the fact that I'm being pushed to want to be, have to be something in life and just go shoot up everybody, okay? There's a difference. There is a difference. All killing is wrong. All gun violence, we, you don't want guns in the hands of the wrong people, period. But let's make this clear. The people who are going on these random mass shootings inside these schools and buses and public places are not 
using ghost guns. They are not using illegal guns off the street. They're using the guns that they go, they do the little background, cheesy background check, whatever, and they get they walk out the gun, walk out the store with the gun, whatever gun they want, however many they want. Those are the people who you do the research. Look at the weirdos that's committing these crimes, okay? This is not a race thing, this is just a fact thing. Okay? And I'm not here to please nobody. Yes, I'm pro Second Amendment. So I don't, but I'm not here. I don't care if you feel some kind of way saying, whoa, how would you say tighten up the background checks on firearms? Because that's how I feel. This is my opinion. That's how I feel. Okay? Because things, anything could be perverted. Okay? I believe in sex, but I don't believe in rape. Okay? I'm a gun owner. I believe in AK 47s and what they could do to protect your family. I believe in good solid rifles, AR 15s. I'm a gun owner, but I don't believe in mass shootings. I don't believe in weirdos having access to something that could kill, man, up to hundreds of people within about two to three minutes. Okay? So I, that's that's where I stand on that. You know, um, figure since I'm starting this uh, gun channel, you know where I stand. You like it, love it, or leave it. That's just what it is. Once again, my condolences to those families involved in all the mass shootings that have been going on all the way back to the Sandy Hook, all of the different uh, mass shootings. And I, I want to talk, on, speak on one more thing. I was on the phone with my brother. My brother was speaking on maybe they could uh, maybe raise the age range where a person that's not so immature, fresh out of high school, getting bullied, and then he go and get a hold of a gun. And now he going back to middle school and going back to the schools and shooting people up. Maybe they raise the, age, the, raise the age qualification on a person that could get a hold of a firearm. And not just a firearm, but these type of firearms. Maybe they have to rate, lift the age, raise the age. And while they're doing that, I also wouldn't mind if they were to raise the age on the age of police officers. 19-year-old, 20-year-old, 21-year-old police officers fresh out of high school, basically getting a hold of a firearm and now they're a police officer and they were bullied in school also and now they out killing people, innocent people. And a lot of times it's our people, black people. You know, killing unarmed people. Okay? So, um, something gotta get done with the gun problem in America. I said it, I stand on it. Your boy, and if you wanna, uh, I love guns. I have fun with guns. You want to see more? You want to see the gun, the videos I do, and the fun I have, the joy that these guns can bring when they're used properly? Check out my channel. Big Boy Noise. Big Boy Noise on YouTube. Check it out, man. Subscribe. Show love. Hit the bell icon below. But um, America, we got a problem. And um, we got to find a way to tighten this up. I'm all for the cornball law. Let me know your thoughts.